Welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenning Meyer. Well, this lesson is volume number two of my Pedal Steel Basics. And in this one, we're learning Amazing Grace. Uh, we're in the key of D. And this one follows real closely with what we learned in volume number one. So we're taking those chord grips, those major chord grips. And what I'm doing is I'm putting on top of those the melody to Amazing Grace. We're basically harmonizing Amazing Grace using those chord grips we learned in Volume 1. Uh, so in this one we have uh, a page of tablature. So go ahead and print that out and set it on a stand in front of you and we'll be following that closely. And that has the right hand fingering, that has you know what pedals you're using and all that. Um, for this one we're just going to be using the A and B pedal and we're going to be working we're in the key of D, so we're working on our 1, 4, and 5 chords in the key of D. We're working on our D chord, our G chord, and our A chord. So if you're ready, go and print out your tablature, and let's jump on in to volume number 2 of Pedal Steel Basics, learning a basic version of Amazing Grace, harmonizing that melody with major chord grips. Let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so before we get going, real quick, let's just do a little warm-up exercise to get us used to the key of D major. D is in dog, and to, to kind of review over these major chord grips we learned in volume one. First of all, in the key of D, we're going to want to push down on our A and B pedal. So those are going to be down, and we're going to be on that fifth fret to get our one chord, our D chord. And let's try to visualize what these major chord grips look like at, as far as what strings you're going to be skipping. So for this first grab, check out my thumb on my right hand here, sprint <clears throat> playing string 10. And then we're going to skip a string and then play string 8 and skip another string and play string 6. So you see how this first grip, you have strings in between the strings you're playing. Try to visualize that and just play that over and over again. Grab it and then mute. And you can get to the point to where when you lay your picks down, you're muting out right before you play it. So there's the first part of that, of that grip. And we're just using these grips in this tune. So it's really important to get these uh, under your fingers and get used to playing them. Okay, the next grip, we're moving up to, to the next note of that grip. So we started here, right, on string 10, 8, and 6. And now my thumb's going to move up to the next note of the, of the grip. And now we're at strings 8, and we're going to skip a string here. Skip 7, and then do 6 and 5. So 8, 6, and 5, if you can see what that looks like. But see how you have one string here on string eight and you're skipping a string and then you've got two strings right next to each other that's how I visualize it at least when I'm looking down at my hand okay so the first grip was here ten eight and six and you're, you've got strings in between the strings you're playing just picture that when you're playing them and notice you know my thumbs in front of my index finger keep your fingers real close to the strings and we move up to the next grip on 8, 6, and 5. You really want to work on that pick block. And you could play them individually, too, if you want to. You just want to get used to those grips. Okay, the next one, move up to here. And we're at string. Let me make sure what that is. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So string six, and notice how all the strings now that you're playing in this particular grip are right next to each other, six, five, and four. So that's how you want to visualize that particular one. They're right next to each other, so you're not skipping any strings. And then you move up to your next grip, and it's the same thing. Right, five, four, and three, and all those strings are right next to each other. Okay, so you just want to over and over again play these grips yep. and that's what you're going to do you might end up hitting the wrong string but slow down and just make that your, your everyday warm up okay now once you get those grips down you can play them play those exact grips over these chords that we're going to be moving okay so with the a and b pedal down on my fifth fret that's the d chord and you can just play whatever exercises you want to warm up. Now, when we want to move to our four chord, our G chord, we're moving back to the third fret and we're taking our foot off. And that gives you our four chord or the G chord on the third fret. Okay, and 
now move that up to the fifth fret and that gives us our five chord or our A chord in the key of D major. So just a good little warm up exercise is just to go through these grips, D, maybe play them individually. Try to get those palm, that palm blocking in there and work on your muting. And then go to G. And then go to A. And then that's G is without my foot on A and B pedal. Same thing with A. Okay, so when you're playing back up over this tune, you're using the jam track. Uh, let me get this going here. And I'll show you what I mean. You can just start start doing these grabs here. Maybe playing two notes out of there. There's G. D. And then the A chord without my A and B pedal. D. G. D. D. A. So some real quick too, when you're playing the D chords, you're gonna be doing this a lot, pushing down on this A and B pedal. A common thing is to have roll into the A. So you have your A, your B pedal down, kind of with the side of your foot. And sorry, I'm wearing socks there, but it's a little easier for me to to play and kind of looks clearer on the camera than than shoe. But more, it's just easier for me to play. Um, so I get that with the side of my foot and then I kind of roll into that A. And that's a real common thing. You get that, that twangy sound there. Like say if you pick your, and you can do this, you know, find where that, where that fits. And you can do that on this particular grip on, what is that, six, five, and four. And you can roll into that. And that's a real common thing that you'll see me do throughout this lesson is roll into that chord. Now, real quick, um, just so you know, once you get used to this position here, D chord on fifth fret, A and B pedal down, G chord, third fret without your A and B pedal, and A chord on fifth fret without the A and B. So D, A and B on your fifth fret, G, third fret, open, or third fret, nothing pushed down, and then A chord, um, fifth fret, with nothing pushed down. So get used to those and get used to those grips. Now you can use the same grips here if you want to play your your uh, D, G, and A chord on your 10th fret and 12th fret. So your D chord then would be on your 10th fret without anything pushed down though. So my foot's not on the pedals, but I'm using those same grips. Now the G chord, you're gonna use a and P pedal down, and you can roll into that A chord, A pedal, right off your B. And you just want to use those grips, and you can't really see. Let me move that back there so you can see kind of more what I'm doing with those grips. Right? So those same grips that I just showed you, but now you're on your 10th fret, and the same thing, keep the A and B pedal down on your 12th fret, and that gives you your A chord. Your, your 5 chord in the key of D major. So, review, if you're on your 10th fret, that's your D chord now. Push your A and B pedal down, and you can roll into that A. On your 10th fret, move it up to your 12th fret, do the same grips, and roll into that A pedal with your B pedal down. And that gives you your A chord. So now you've got your 1, 4, and 5 here on your 5th fret, 3rd fret back to your 5th fret. If you know what to do with the pedals, remember D, A, and B pedal down. G chord, 3rd fret, no, no pedals. A chord, uh, fifth fret, no pedals, and then back to D. And you can pick either one, one of those notes out of any of these grips, or two, you know, do double stops, 
anything you want, but I suggest to use that jam track and just to get used to make that part of your practice is to just have that jam track going and to just practice these chords, these chord grips. As you could tell, I'm using those core grips, and then I'm, I got basically a position here on my third and fifth fret, and then I've got a position here on my tenth and twelfth fret, and it's just basically the opposite, you know, where fifth fret you're using the pedal, and then third and fifth fret you take your pedals off for your four and five chords. Tenth fret, no pedals, but then for your four and five chords you do. Your, your A and B pedal down on your 10th and 12th fret. So work with that with that jam track, and I think, uh, I think that'll really get you warmed up and ready to go into Amazing Grace. And, and uh, let's go ahead and tackle that now. <laughs> 